Well, well, well. And brightest day and blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Beware my power. Green lantern's frickin' light. Have to you know, go ahead and recite the oath because I was getting a lot of a lot of flack from everybody was talking about you better recite that oath, boy. You better do it, man. I did it. I was gonna save that oath for some other anyways. So we've been hearing rumors per Grace Randolph tweeted. I don't know if get this right. That Ryan Reynolds in DC have been in talks of bringing him back. And you know what? I'm all for it. Go forth. Do this, man. It, it was straight up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Marvel and um, Ryan Reynolds in the next Deadpool movie. We all know how, you know, DC have their way of doing things because it's more of a. More of kid based friendly. Well, I won't say, yeah, more kid based friendly. Um, they have kids that come and watch their movies. And they have great directors and story writers to bring in that intensity. However, you know, bring that intensity to keep, you know, us as adults and, you know, kids and teenagers, you know, into their films, which is great. However, with the man Deadpool, you have to be, <laughs> if you ever read a Deadpool comic, if you've seen Ryan Reynolds in the two Deadpool films, you need to be somewhere close to rated X, because <laughs> the dude is crazy. It's rated R, of course, because there's cussing, there's, you know, there's penis jokes, there's uh, jokes that are out of line, where you're like, what, where do we get, how do we get here? So. Deadpool is that is that guy. He is that character. He's going to go far off the deep end. He's killing. He's cussing, making a lot, a lot of derogatory things. Deadpool is that guy. So when you write this script, and if it's supposed to be Deadpool three, you know you need to go all out. So there have been rumors that Ryan Reynolds and the directors and everyone who's involved in Deadpool three they can't. They can't gel right. They can't come together right and fix this thing to make this great script and to give Ryan Reynolds what he wants. And he brings in a lot of money with Deadpool. He's he, he's a very great talent. Everybody loves Ryan Reynolds. So, excuse me. I don't know. Same thing with the whole Michael Keaton thing. Over there at Marvel. I don't know if, you know, Michael Keaton and the writers over there for, you know, Spider-Man, the Spider-Man um, films have said that, you know, maybe his character is going to get killed off later on in the next Spider-Man film. And then his contract is up and then he goes, you know, back to DC as Bruce Wayne, which I think would be dope. Um, the future Batman, I, I, I'm, I'm all for that too. Bring the OG back, the original Batman. The one that we love the most out of all of them. Um, and so probably the same thing with, with Ryan. He's probably saying, y'all playing around too much. Y'all messing up my money. I'm trying to get this stuff started. Um, we already got the COVID going on. We could probably fix something out and get some scenes going or get this script going. And then when this is it's like almost finished or whatever, this whole little COVID situation, let's get this started now. And they probably like, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't like Deadpool doing this or that. You're, so you're taking away everything that Deadpool does. Just my thought. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. These are just rumors. So where are you going to go back to? Back to DC. Because they already hinted at, you know, what was it? I think it was in a Snyder Cut. Where Was it Bruce? Or I can't remember who it was. Was it Bruce? I think it was Bruce who was supposed to run to the Green Lantern. And um, they already wanted to do Lantern Corpse. And if you're going to do Lantern Corpse as a TV show or as a film, you want to bring in some heavy hitters that you want to draw everyone to you. I already spoke earlier about how everyone would love Michael J. White to come in to play as John Stewart Green Lantern. I'm sold already on that. And so um, now, if you get Ryan Reynolds, come back as Hal Jordan, man, 
<laughs> it's going down. And he already said that he been wanted to, to re come back and redo this. He been wanted to you know make it better because they felt like you know he just didn't hit the mark with that Green Lantern. For Green Lantern, for me, for the that one, there's some things they could have done a little bit better. Um, I didn't really too much care for the main villain. Um, so hey. See me kind of parched. So yes, if you can get Ryan Runners come back, you already that you already you you stepping in the right. Y'all, DC is already stepping in the right direction by Zack Snyder doing the Snyder Cut and showing everything that should have been shown when he had to take a step down from it. Now you, you got Henry Cavill back on board. Check. You got you already announced Michael Keaton is in the works uh, coming back. Just a rumor, but if you do, so it's kind of like a potential. It's a pending check. Now, if you get Ryan Reynolds, and this is a rumor, ooh, that pending check right there, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Mm, and then if you make these other films better, oh yeah, <laughs> bravo. You're taking the steps in the right direction. Um, I still don't know what it is with some of these DC films or these creators. I still wish that the animation with the D, the, the straight to DVD animation um, DC films, Burt Tim and all all that. I still feel that you should get these guys to do the, the actual films. Um, I don't know what deals they have. I, I, I don't know if, the, if Tim and them just think that. They feel better over there. They're more comfortable over there. They don't want to take on this bigger project. It's always a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. That we were like, us as fans say, hey, let the, this, these people do that. And then you halfway there with storylines and everything. But I don't know. So don't do any origin stories. Just go at it. Just start. Get in there. The fans know what's going on. Go for it. So with that being said, I almost have, even have to ask y'all, are y'all all on board for Ryan Reynolds to, to, <laughs> to be the Green Lantern? We already know we want him as a Green Lantern. But go ahead and tell me your thoughts. Because I want to hear about it. And I want to discuss about it. Until next time, you guys have a good one. Uh, well, I got some movie reviews coming up that I got to get to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get to some movies um, today and uh, talk about that with you guys and, and discuss. But until next time, you guys be safe out there. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share with others. Sharing is caring. Peace.